Okay guys, we're on a 2013 Camaro. I have the D9S Pro by Xtool connected to it. And we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough showing the active test and special functions. Uh, I'm gonna hit the special functions button and that's gonna show you a lot of the uh, functions that this scanner's got. Now, not all these are gonna be applicable to every vehicle, but this is the a lot of the, the functional tests that this is able to do. Uh, this is how you would quickly access them. Now you also get to these same tests through going through the uh, appropriate module also. So let's go back out of that. And I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna go ahead and hit auto scan and we'll let it scan the vehicle. Uh, we'll do a uh, scan for all the modules and you can see the, how the topology works. Now if you go to system selection you can manually select from any module that this car could have it may not have one of these modules depends on your options uh and, and how the car came from the factory but uh we're just going to do an auto scan that scan all the modules of course this has got the topology it's also got the list mode so uh you know it'll just go down the list the nice thing about the list mode is it spells out what each module is. If you do the topology, it just gives the acronym. But if you do want to know uh, what one of these modules are, and you're not sure what the acronym means, then all you got to do is tap that uh, little icon, and it'll pop up and tell you what it is. Whenever it's finished scanning, I'll show you that. You can also go into that module uh, by by doing that. So. For instance, this SWASM, I'm gonna tap that. And that is the steering wheel angle sensor module. Uh, there's zero DTCs in that module right now. If I wanted to go into the module, I'd just hit diagnose. Uh, so BCM has got 12 faults. Let's see what those are. Uh, now, another thing you can do, so right now I see 12 faults, but I can't tell what they are. I would have to go into the module at this point. What I like to do a lot of times is I just go to list. All your, uh, any module that has faults are gonna be at the top. Uh, that's one nice thing I like about it. Now in list mode, not only does it spell out each module, so for instance, body control module, which is the BCM, it's got 12 faults. If you hit the down arrow, it will show you what uh, faults you've got. And it obviously looks like I've got some uh, running light uh, issues going on there. Might have to look into that. Uh, telematics has got one fault. Unknown DTC, okay. So right now I'm gonna stay in list mode and we're just gonna go into each module and look at the active test and special function. So at this point, I'm just gonna hit telematics. Uh, can't remember what this car is, if it's a nine or a 10 on the uh, version. I'm gonna go ahead and hit 10. And it should have, uh, probably gonna have the same actuation tests and special functions. But if you was having an issue with that module where you was wanting to troubleshoot it, you would need to go in and make sure you know what version that is. And I'll actually show you how to do that right now. So if you wasn't sure, just select either one of them. Doesn't matter at this point. Now you're gonna hit read ECU information. Okay. It says no data to show, probably because it's not a 10. So let's back out of that. And I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna hit diagnostic. We're gonna hit nine this time. And now I'm gonna hit read ECU information. And now you can see that we've got some information. We've got part numbers, software part numbers. Um, but it will usually tell you, and it's probably this one right here, module generation identifier nine. If this was a version 10, that would say 10, but you could tell th that it probably wasn't uh 10 because whenever I selected 10, it would not read the module. So now let's just make sure that the actuation tests and special functions are, are correct. Now this actually has one more button now that we've got went under the right version. So now it's going to special functions, remove reset module. 
Okay, let's go ahead and back completely out of this and then let's go to the uh, next module. I'm gonna hit list. We'll go ahead and do body control module. This has got the uh, HID headlights. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, actuation test. And now on a couple of these, you can go even deeper. For instance, chassis control. We'll go ahead and tap that. Exterior lighting. This would be where I might need to go into to uh, take a look at those running lights that we've got faults for. Interior lighting, same thing. Vehicle access, power mode, wipers, windows. Those are actuation tests. Take a look at special functions. Back out of that, go to the next module, which is the ECM. And this is an automatic vehicle. We're going to go into actuation test, take, let you take a look at that, and then we'll go into special functions. We're going to do learn functions and reset functions. TCM, actuation test. special functions. Electronic brake control module. Does not have the limited slip differential. Here's the actuation test. Here's the special functions. Inflatable restraint. Situation test. As you can see, it allows you to configure a new module. So if you're if you've ever had an airbag deployment, uh, GM, it's not necessarily the scan tool, but GM allows you to reconfigure the module using a scan tool, and this scan tool has that capability. Not all manufacturers allow that. You have to either replace the module or send it in to a specialized uh, company to where they can uh, do a reset on it. Now we're in the uh, instrument cluster. HVAC. And I'll go ahead and select these so that you can see what's underneath each one of these buttons. Miscellaneous test, HVAC mode test, and temperature functions. Special functions. Fuel pump control module. Okay. Uh, actually, hold on a minute. Let's go back to fuel pump control. Let me hit fuel pump. There we go. Actuation test. What's the fuel system? Fuel pressure and fuel pump. Special functions. Fuel trim reset. Multi-axis accelerator. We got special functions. There you go. Steering angle sensor, module, special functions. Passenger presence. Sensor learn. Heads up display. 
This car does have that, so we should be able to get into it. Okay. Radio. Actuation test. Front seat heating module. It says, does have heated seats. Park assist module. Actuation test. Special functions. This does have the auxiliary gauge module. And that's it. It's all 17 modules. Uh, this is the uh, X-Tool D9 Pro. D9S Pro to be specific. Uh, very powerful scan tool. Uh, got lots of... Uh, features very fast good skin tool to have anyway we're done you guys take care we'll see you